Think you can trust your memories? This video will make you think twice. We're diving into the intricate workings of the human memory and how it isn't always as reliable as we think. Strap in for a journey into the depths of your own brain. 1. The mystery of flashbulb memories. Flashbulb memories feel as sharp and vivid as a photograph, capturing significant emotional or societal moments with supposed clarity. You might recall exactly where you were and what you were doing when you heard about a global tragedy or a personal shock. But here's the catch. Even these crystallised memories aren't foolproof. A series of studies revealed that people's confidence in these memories remains unchanged even after a year, but the accuracy often does not. Participants remembered the essence, but misremembered specifics, introducing errors or new elements. This illustrates how our most emotionally charged memories can still be shaped by time and subsequent experiences. 2. Memory's reconstructive nature. Far from playing back like a recorded video, our memories are dynamic. Every time we recall an event, it's reconstructed in our minds under the influence of our current emotions, beliefs, and even the conversations going on around us. A groundbreaking study showcased participants who watched the same event, but later recalled it differently based on leading questions. Two people might witness the same incident, but each could remember it very differently, depending on their perspectives, moods, or biases. This reconstruction process underscores the fluidity of our memories and challenges the concept of objective recall. 3. The Mandela Effect This is a term coined after a widely shared false memory. Many believed Nelson Mandela died in prison during the 1980s, though he actually passed away in 2013. This phenomenon of collective misremembering isn't isolated. Think of the famous misquote, Luke, I am your father, from Star Wars. It's actually, no, I am your father. Such collective memory discrepancies raise intriguing questions about shared cognition and cultural memory. Are these merely innocent mistakes, or is there a deeper cognitive pattern at play? 4. The Emotional Anchor it's no surprise that our most vivid memories often revolve around heightened emotions. A first kiss, the grief of loss, or the thrill of an achievement. These moments are etched deeply due to a part of our brain called the amygdala. This almond-shaped section of our brain processes emotions and plays a crucial role in memory consolidation. Research reveals that emotional arousal following learning enhances long-term, detailed recall, but ironically, while the central details are retained, peripheral information often gets fuzzy. 5. Memory's Sensory Connection The profound link between our senses and memories is undeniable. Sense, in particular, can act as powerful catalysts, teleporting us back to specific moments in our past. This is because of the olfactory bulb's intimate relationship with the amygdala and hippocampus key players in memory and emotion. Unlike other senses, smell bypasses extensive processing and offers a direct, unfiltered route to memory recall. A childhood perfume or the aroma of a long-forgotten dish can evoke intricate emotional memories, sometimes catching us entirely off guard. 6. The Brain's Vast Storage For years, the myth that humans only use 10% of their brains persisted. Yet in truth, our brains are always active, especially when it comes down to memory. While scientists haven't pinpointed an exact capacity, it's evident our memory storage is vast. Dr. Paul Reber hypothesizes that the brain can store a quadrillion or one million billion bytes of information, likening it to an enormous digital warehouse. It's not storage we struggle with, but retrieving and organizing the vast swathes of data effectively. Seven. Implantation of false memories. One of the most unsettling aspects of memory research is the discovery that memories can be implanted. In experiments, participants were shown manipulated photographs or provided suggestive narratives, leading them to remember events that never occurred. In some cases, they recalled intricate details of these fictitious events, from the color of the balloons on a fabricated hot air balloon ride to the feeling of the wind on their faces. Such findings highlight the vulnerability of our memories to external influences, be they intentional suggestions or unintentional misinformation. 
8. The Essential Act of Forgetting For all our focus on memory, forgetting is equally vital. It's not a flaw, but a feature. Our brains constantly sift through information, discarding what's irrelevant and preserving what's essential. This decluttering process allows for efficient cognitive functioning. A study revealed that people who were better at forgetting unnecessary details were also better at abstract thinking and connecting disparate ideas. So the next time you forget a trivial detail, remember, your brain might just be making space for something more important. 9. Memory Peaks and Valleys You might have heard of the reminiscence bump. It's a curious phenomenon where people, especially older adults, recall more autobiographical memories from ages 10 to 30. This period encompasses many life firsts and formative experiences. First love, first job, higher education, and so forth. Psychologists theorise that because this time is ripe with novel experiences and transitions, the memories made here are more robust. On the other hand, midlife memories often seem more elusive, perhaps overshadowed by the highs and lows of our younger and older years. 10. The Role of Sleep in Memory Ever wondered why sleeping on it can sometimes bring clarity? Sleep plays an integral role in memory consolidation. When we drift into slumber, our brains get to work, replaying the day's events, sorting and storing memories. Rapid eye movement, REM sleep in particular, is linked to consolidating procedural memories like learning a new skill and spatial memories. A study showed that people who were allowed to dream after learning a maze performed better than those who stayed awake. This showcases the restorative power of sleep, not just physically, but also cognitively. 11. Memory and Music – An Undeniable Bond Music has a profound connection to our memories. Ever noticed how a particular song can transport you back to a specific moment? The link between music and emotion enables memories associated with tunes to be preserved better. Alzheimer's patients, who might not remember their loved ones, can often recall songs from their youth, showcasing music's deep-rooted connection to our cognitive selves. Furthermore, techniques like the Mozart effect, where listening to classical music supposedly improves short-term memory, further demonstrate this intertwined relationship. 12. Memory in the Digital Age With the ubiquity of smartphones, our memory patterns are evolving. The Google effect, or digital amnesia, refers to the phenomenon where we forget information that can be easily looked up online. While some worry about the implications of this for our cognitive abilities, others argue it's merely an adaptive form of cognitive offloading. By outsourcing specific data to digital devices, our brains might be freeing up cognitive space for other types of thinking and problem solving. 13. Physical Activity and Memory Boost It's not just mental exercises that boost memory. Physical activity plays a role too. Regular exercise, especially aerobic ones, has been shown to increase the size of the hippocampus, a brain area involved in verbal memory and learning. Furthermore, physical activities can stimulate the release of neurochemicals and promote the growth of new neurons, enhancing overall brain health. It turns out that the benefits of that morning jog or dance class extend beyond just physical wellness. 14. The Mystery of Deja Vu Almost everyone has experienced the eerie sensation of deja vu, the feeling that a current situation has happened before. While the exact cause remains debated, one theory posits a hiccup in the brain's memory system. The brain mistakenly perceives a moment as a memory, creating a false sensation of familiarity. Another theory suggests deja vu occurs when there's a brief lag in the brain's information processing, causing an overlap of past and present memories. 15. Childhood Amnesia and Our Earliest Memories Remember your third birthday party or your first day at kindergarten? Chances are you don't. This phenomenon is known as childhood amnesia. Most adults struggle to recall memories from before age three to four. The reasons for this are multifaceted. One explanation is the rapid neuronal growth and synapse formation in the early years, which might overwrite earlier memories. Another theory points to the development of the sense of self. As children start understanding individuality, they begin storing events more systematically, making them more accessible, 
in later life. 16. The influence of social interaction on memory. Humans are inherently social creatures, and our interactions play a significant role in shaping our memories. Discussing past events with others can reinforce or even alter our recollection of them. A phenomenon termed collaborative memory focuses on how people remember together in groups. Here's the twist. Group recall can both improve accuracy by filling in each other's gaps and introduce errors by influencing and distorting another's memories. Additionally, social feedback can intensify or mitigate our memories. For example, a shared experience you initially deemed insignificant might become more memorable when you realize its importance to someone else. 17. The link between diet and memory. What we eat has profound implications for our cognitive health, including memory. For instance, foods rich in antioxidants, good fats, vitamins and minerals nourish the brain and protect it against oxidative stress. The Mediterranean diet, replete with fruits, vegetables, whole grains, olive oil, and lean protein, has been linked to better cognitive function. Omega-3 fatty acids, found abundantly in fish, are essential for brain health and can enhance memory in older adults. On the flip side, diets high in refined sugars, like the typical Western diet, have been associated with impaired brain function and can even worsen symptoms of mood disorders, such as depression. The adage, you are what you eat, holds true, especially when it comes to memory. Now that you've delved into the mysteries of memory, what's next in your journey of psychological exploration? Are you curious about 15 psychological facts that will make you question reality, or interested in 18 hidden powers of the subconscious mind? Take your pick, and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.